Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, or whatever the case may be. My name is Marcus, and I am the host of the Black Brazil Today YouTube channel, as well as the BlackBrazilToday.com blog, where I analyze Brazil from the perspective of race. So I just got a real quick, fun video for you all to check out today. This is something that came out maybe yesterday, the day before, not sure. Um, actress Thais Araujo channels Whitney Houston for the Masked Singer program. Okay, I've talked a lot about Thais Araujo over the years. Uh, like I said, I, I became aware of her way back when I first started getting into the situation with Black people in Brazil. I've talked a lot about her. You'll see a lot about Thais Araujo on the blog, Brazil, uh, BlackBrazilToday.com. Go and check that out. Learn more about her. Um, so, you know, a lot of programs that you have in the United States will be copied in Brazil. And, you know, Brazil, United States did this, copied off a lot of stuff that came out of the you know, you know, the British uh, media. So in turn, a lot of American media, you know, it gets divulged all over the world. And so Brazil picks up on a lot of American media. They'll create their shows that are similar to the one in the United States. It'll be the Brazilian edition. You know, you got the voice Brazil. I remember uh, what's this called? The Dança dos Famosos. It's, it was like a copy of uh, Dancing with the Stars. If you see Anything in the Brazilian media, you'll see a copy of something. I often wonder, like, is this when I lived in Brazil for a while, I didn't even know if a lot of the things they were producing and directing, if these were Brazilian originals or they were something they would copy from the U.S. So you have the Brazilian edition of the Masked Singer going on in Brazil right now. And Thais Sadaúja, who I've often referred to as Brazil's top black actress, she released a video on her Instagram either yesterday or the day before where she was just she doesn't look like Whitney Houston per se. She, I mean, not at all, really. But there's a certain way that you can wear your makeup and your hair that will put somebody in the view or remind you of somebody that maybe you don't look like necessarily at all. Right. So <laughs> before I get into this video, um, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell. With that said, let's get into this uh, this little video for the day. So this is a uh, Thais Araujo. And she's, you know, she's made herself up to look a little bit like Whitney Houston. So the actress dressed up as a singer for the taping of the program, The Masked Singer, next Sunday, which will have movie classics as its theme. OK, again, you know, she doesn't look like Whitney Houston per se. But at first glance, if you were to just look at her picture and then look away real quick, you might have Whitney Houston might have came to mind. So today's article is uh, by Pedro, do, uh, Pedro N. Jordão of the CNN Brazil edition. So Rio-based actress Thais Araujo, 45, caught the attention of Internet users on the social media for her resemblance to the American singer Whitney Houston. Of course, we all know what happened with Whitney. Maybe some of you don't. I have my own views of what happened to Whitney Houston, but <laughs> not going to talk about that here. Thais dressed up as Whitney to take part in the recording, uh, what, Friday, March 1st, a couple days ago, of the program The Mass Singer which was appear, I guess is supposed to air today, which is Sunday. The theme of the program will be cinema classics. Whitney was remembered as a powerful singer, an actress, supermodel, businesswoman with successful films such as The Bodyguard with Kevin Costner and the film Waiting to Exhale. The TV host or presenter Sabrina Sato, you know, another very famous Brazilian woman, um, she, like Thais Araújo, who's going to be a judge on the show, she also appeared in a costume for the recording, wearing a wedding dress based on the poster for the movie Runaway Bride, starring actress Julie, Julie, uh, Julia Roberts, which was released in Brazil as Noiva em Fuga. You know, basically, that's an exact translation. Brazil either releases movies with the exact same title or they'll change the name sometimes exactly in the exact English to Portuguese translation, or they'll do something close to it so that there's some context of the name of the movie. Of course, I mean, I'm quite sure many of you remember that movie with Julia Roberts and, uh, and Richard Gere. So this isn't the first time Whitney's name has come up on Black Brazil today. Besides Brazilians loving Whitney's powerful vocals, leading to the appearance of a, no a number of talented Brazilian singers who have attempted to replicate Houston's dynamic vocals, there have been others who simply tried to imitate the singer's look. Um, a few years ago, on one of the Big Brother Brazil editions, uh, the rapper Carol Conca, she got voted off of the show with one of the biggest disapproval ratings in the history of the program. So she went into hiding for a while because people were so mad at the way she came across on the program. Just people were like she was very aggressive. Uh, she was very just kind of evil with one of the contestants on the show. 
people hated that. She got like it was over 90 some percent. She got voted off the show. She disappeared for a while. And then when she popped up again, she came out looking like this. So Carol Conca or Whitney Houston, uh, the the similar visual becomes a hot topic on the Web. You see, mostly because of the hair. So you got Carol Conca here and you got Whitney Houston here saying, OK, besides Thais, back in May of 2021, rapper Carol Conca turned heads when she took photos and made appearances with a look that seemed to be inspired by Houston's 1987 video. I want to dance with somebody. You know, this is Carol Conca. I mean, I, I see the similarity there. Now, if you take away that the hair, maybe she doesn't look anything like Whitney Houston. But like I said just a minute ago, you put on hair and makeup in a certain way and people can still you can put you in the mind of another person who you may or may not look like. These are just some other pictures of Carol Conca, you know, some some press photos for her. I think she was putting out a new album at the time. And of course, this is Whitney Houston. So. Like I said, just a real fun video today. Nothing too serious. Thais Adeujo channeling Whitney Houston. But while I'm talking about this, as I've said, Whitney's name has come up a number of times over this blog. Um, and I've talked a little bit about this on the channel. There have been num a number of Brazilian singers over the years. Whitney Houston is the standard for a singer. And anybody who can emulate you know, Whitney Houston is going to be considered a great singer. There's a girl in Brazil right now. She's known as the Whitney Houston Brasileira, the Brazilian Whitney Houston. Her name is a Talita Pertuzzi. She thrills the audience with four with a four show salute to the legend in Sao Paulo and Rio. But will Brazil ever promote a black female singer to superstar status? So this is about her. You know, a salute to Whitney Houston. This was some years ago. I don't know, four or five, six years ago. Not, I'm not sure. But my question in this particular article was, Brazil has a number of popular black singers now, particularly Isa and um, Lou Jamila. But they're still of the black music variety, the funk or, you know, Brazilian R&B type of sound, what we just call black music. And even though they're they're hugely successful, neither one of them come to the success of a Whitney Houston, even in Brazil. And so when I saw this young lady a few years ago, my question was, there's always been an issue of Brazil promoting black female singers outside of samba music. It's always been said there was a book that came out some years ago that says there were 12 or 13 black Brazilian women singers who fought to be able to sing other music outside of samba, which is Brazil's national you know, music will say it was created by black folks. And it's just expected if you're black and you're a female, you're supposed to sing samba. Some of them had to leave the country to, to get the right to be able to sing whatever music they wanted. And so when I saw this young lady, she's got some great vocals. I mean, she doesn't sound exactly like Whitney, but she does have power. She should have a record. You know, she should have had a record deal a long time ago. And I asked in this article, I says, well, you know, she's a pretty girl and she has a voice. I'm like, is Brazil going to take this woman and make her the star that she should be? It's been six or seven years since I put this post up and I'm going to do a, a separate story about this. There was a video she released a couple months ago where she was crying in the camera because she had used her own money to rent out this auditorium to put on another salute to Whitney Houston. And she had only sold a, a handful of tickets and she had used her own money for that. And I'm just like, why is she still in this space? Why isn't why has Brazil's record mu music industry not picked up on this lady and made her the star that she should be? I'm going to have to talk about that another time. But I always say it's um, this seems to be a place for where black women are supposed to be when they're going to be singers in Brazil. And I, I, this is just the way that I see it. Reality show participant becomes Whitney Houston on a TV show. I thought this was intriguing. I, this person named I. Uh, I think it was Adriana or Arianda, I think it was her name. OK, now the intriguing thing about Arianda, um, you know, she did a takeoff of, you know, looking like Whitney Houston here. And this is what Arianda looked like when she was born. Her, her his name at the time was Chiago. I mean, I'll let you all figure that out. But, you know, she had her, you know, few minutes of fame imitating Whitney Houston. And then this is the article that I put out in 2012. It was like, I think, I'm not sure if what Whitney Houston died in 2011, 2012. But this is what my argument was, is that will Brazil ever let a black woman rise to the stardom of a Whitney Houston in the United States? Of course, Whitney Houston was a global star. But even in Brazil, these are all women who argued about how racist Brazil's music industry is. How they were for, they, Brazil's music industry tried to push them into the samba category. Some of them wanted to sing pop. Some wanted to sing jazz. Some of them wanted to be opera singers. 
Some of these people had to leave the country in order to sing the type of music that they wanted to sing because Brazil's music industry would not allow them. So as much as Brazilians like to point the question, the issue of being a racist country at the United States, there are far more opportunities for black Americans in the U.S. than there are for black Brazilians in Brazil. And that's just that goes without saying. OK, there's really no debate in that. Where is the Brazilian Whitney Houston? There's one that I just showed you. She has the chops to be able to record. You know, if you're into pop music or classical type pop music, why isn't this? Why doesn't this young lady again, the, the Brazilian Whitney Houston, why doesn't she have a record label or a record contract anywhere? OK, Vanessa Jackson. I forget what her real last name is, but she adopted the last name of Jackson for her stage career. Um, you find a lot of Brazilians who are trying to sing Whitney Houston songs. She there's a video online now you can see she's covering Whitney Houston's Didn't We Almost Have It All. So Whitney Houston is the standard. Everybody in the world knows who Whitney Houston is. So that was just I thought that was just kind of cool to see, you know, at first look, you know, if you really look at Thais Adeuja, she doesn't look anything like Whitney Houston, but she will remind you of her in this picture. So just a real quick video, just something I thought was fun, um, something she released on her Instagram channel. So going to end this video right here. Um, as always, you know, like this video, share the video, consider subscribing to the channel, click on the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. All right.